Tumelang banavanta te ba kenin tempeleng. Jehofa ali ruise molimo osa feleng. Kalivito kithiora chiri ki mwituti skolo nsavu rudi. Kile loko lele tletzi ngila pucheho ya Uniting Reform Church in Southern Africa, Centurion Congregation. Beloved, let us start this worship service by acknowledging the presence of God, the Holy Spirit, and the Son, Jesus Christ, by prayer. Let us pray. Morena, limudimu aruna, Christe konyane ntla lo khodimo jeho fa wena le nsia bisa matlhonolo. Ra e tshwa rona ya kwa le khodimong. Ra ta emla tironi ya ga go modimo ya matla otlhe. Ka bo inyatso le bo ikobo mesi ya go loka. Go nne ga re go atamela modimo ya matla otlhe. Re tla re sa tshola selo ha re tla go wena modimo. Empa re rata gore ntate modimo tank ntate modimo re ya go leboga. Bo teng jo ga go mo matselong a rona. Bokholo jo ga go jo bo makatsang le fatshe lo tlhe jeo fa ya matla o tlhe le tletse khalalelo ya gago le rona re ba bamba khalalelo ya gago re ba bamba di bopotse di ntletsa ga go modimo ya matla o tlhe ka gona re ikoba ha re go atamela modimo go nne wena o modimo ya matla o tlhe Kriste Jesu mo ya o buitshepo thank you go nna temo matshelong a rona gore gopotsa le gore etella pele mo tseleng ena ya sedumedi gore ruta ka le rato le kutlwano tsa o re fela nre le bala ka tsona modimo ya matla o tle mona go nyatlalelo mosho wa montla wa letsatsi ke o tshe o fa ya matla o tle re tlo go bala le ntswe la ga go modimo ya matla o tle ra e tshwa rona tsana le rona motshebeletso nye re tshegohatse modimo ya matla o tle ka go re bula ditsebe ka go nolohatsa dipelo tsa rona go utlwa le ntswe la ga go le le phatlamaletse modimo ya matla o tle ra e tshore ne matla ga tlhagale mafolofolo a go tswa le le fatshilo o tle re gase evangeli ya ga go modimo ya matla o tle ka fa wena o ratang ka teng modimo ya matla o tle re ya go leboga modimo ya matla o tle kreste tsa o fa go nyane ntla le go dimore ya go leboga go dula o le teng gore tshwarela dibe gore golo la mo ditla montsa sebe tsena le tseding re ya di kopa modimo ya matla o tle ha re tsena mo lekwalo la gago le phuthulu le modimo ya matla o tle dula mo le lemellaka gore ke gase evangeli ga go modimo ka phuthulu go modimo ke sna tshabo ke sna boi ho go nne ke rumile go wena ke le motlhanka wa gago go go direla le go bua le batho ba ga go modimo ya matla o tle ka gona modimo bula tshebeletso e modimo ya matla o tle o itse go hatsele o mong le o mong yo tlana le le tlhogonolo la go utlwa le ntswe la ga go modimo ya matla o tle mo tse go hatse ke gona ka Kriste mo rena wa rona re a rapela amen beloved in christ we shall find our scripture reading from the book, 1 Samuel, chapter 17, verse 31, until verse 37. And we shall also add two more verses down, which is verse 45 until verse 48. Re tla bala le kwalo la rona ja ka hare le kwaloetswe bukeng tsa rona tsa ntla tsa Samuel verse chapter 17 verse 31 go fitlhella ka verse 37 re ko fatse ga pere ba le verse 45 i think until verse 47 actually me ona ha re bone e balega ka tsela ye Then David's questions were reported to King Saul, and the king sent for him. Don't worry about this Philistine, David told Saul. I'll go and fight him. Don't be ridiculous, Saul replied. There's no way you can fight this Philistine and possibly win. You are only a boy, and he's been a man of war since his youth. But David persisted. I have been walking, looking after, I have been looking after my father's sheep and goats, he said. When a lion and a bear comes to steal a lamb from the flock, I go after it with a club and a rescue 
and rescue the lamb from its mouth. If the animal stands on me, I catch it by the jaw and clap and clap it to death. If the animal stands and, and clap it to death, as kiss, I have done both. I've done this to both lion and bear. I'll do it to the pagan Philistine too. For he has defied the armies of the living God. The Lord who rescued me from the claws of the lion and the bear will rescue me from this Philistine. Saul finally considered. All right, go ahead, he said. And may the Lord be with you. Verse 45 to 47. David replied to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, spear, spear and, ju and, and javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of heaven's armies, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Today the Lord will conquer you, and I will kill you and cut off your head, and then I will give the dead bodies of your men to the birds and wild animals. And the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. And everyone assembled here will know that the Lord rescued his people, but not with a sword or spear. This is the Lord's battle. He will give you to us. This is the word of God. May the almighty God bless each and every one of us who is so fortunate to receive the word of God, to live and be guided by it. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Beloved, we meet in a new month, a beautiful month where there's lots of celebrations. In this month of June, we are celebrating winter. For many people prefer winter over other seasons. In this month of June, we are celebrating Youth Month. We are also celebrating Father's Day. And many people in our church, in our families, will also be celebrating their birthdays. So this is a confirmation and an affirmation for me and you. As Jesus Christ said in John chapter 10, I have come to give you life and life in abundance. So as we are celebrating, this says to us, we must celebrate life even in the midst of adversities. In the midst of the unknown, life shall be celebrated. So may the Almighty God strengthen you and keep you. May the Almighty God bless you as you will be celebrating this beautiful month with your birthday, with Youth Month, as we will be honoring the youth and the fathers of our nations. Beloved, the scripture reading for today, it's a great story that many of you are very accustomed to. It's a story that you have heard many times. So it's not a different story and I'm not going to make it different. I am just going to reiterate to you the greatness and the love of God in your life. All that I am coming to do to you is to affirm that which you have known, that which this adversity might have made you to forget about. As it is Youth Month, I saw it fitting that we should look into the life of a youth just like you and I. David, a 17-year-old. David, a shepherd. David, the king. David, the perfect musician. We should also look into a David in the character of a father. As I said, we will be celebrating Father's Day. Many fathers must look into the lives of David and say, what is it that I have missed in my youth? What is it that I can do best as a father of the nation, as the father to my children and to my family? Many Many ministers can also look into this and say, what is it that I can do to as the father of Jesus Christ's flock, which is the church of Christ? Yes, today we are blessed, beloved in Christ, because we are hearing how great God is to the life of a youth. 
David, the son of Jesse, David, the eighth of, the, of, of his siblings, the youngest of his father's children, a shepherd, great shepherd, that we have read and we've, we've preached about in the past week when we looked at Psalm 23. This is a David that we all know. David, when we meet him here, he is showing the greatness of God and not the greatness of man. Jesus Christ is also... Um, portrayed in the life of David. For just as David, just as Jesus Christ, David was anointed and chosen by God. Christ Jesus was anointed and chosen and put before men and, and perform great miracles by the power of the Holy Spirit. Here when we meet David, we meet David a great shepherd who was out there being sent an obedient son of Jesse. Jesse sends David into the battlefield where his brothers are. The three older brothers are also there in the battlefield. He sends him to go and take food to his brother. Over and above that, he also gives him an extra scarf tin for the king, Kappa Foyana Sol, to say, Give this cheese to the king, maybe as a way of winning favor on the king, to ensure that the king can put his children, his three sons. Remember now, there are three lives at stake when, when Jesus sits at home. He understands that I have three sons, men of God, men that I have trained. Now they are out there in the battlefield. They might come back. They might not come back. I am sending extra cheese just so that the king can remember me. If he has to remember the parents of all the boys, of all the men in that battlefield, my three sons but life must be spared. He sends his youngest son, go and give this to the king and to your brothers and bring me back the news of how they are doing there in the battlefield. Beloved in Christ, what I like here, David the young David, the young son of Jesse, David, the youth, when he's being sent in the previous verses, I'm just trying to narrate the story of what happened in the previous verses. When he is being sent, he gives, he, he, he appoints somebody to look after the sheep because he was very, a very passionate shepherd. He was a very passionate uh, um, son who did what the father asked him to do. Now he is going into the battlefield, the unknown field. He has been there before but he has been coming back home he was not trained to be a soldier so when david gets there david wonders what is it that's happening the battle is not taking place but he hears news that for 40 days we have been tormented for 40 days we have been challenged by this great champion this great champion has been coming out and calling out to the to the israelites you israelites where is your god israelites where is your God? Choose amongst your men. One who will fight me. Where is your God? I think that is the question that, that really triggered something in David's heart. David says, so if any man has to fight this man, what's in it for him? Then David is being told that whoever fights this man will be given a bride. A bride, not just a bride, but a daughter of King Saul. This man will win favor in the, in the king's heart. This man will be, this man and his family will be spurred from paying the taxes. This, this family will be put higher in the ranks of favoritism in the life of a king. David goes on and asks, what is it that will this man who fights this champion will get? He is being told. Sadly, his siblings, his brothers hear that David has landed in the battlefield and has been asking questions. And David has been told that whoever is to win against this guy, whoever is to conquer this guy, will be blessed, will be blessed by the King Saul himself, will win favor. Remember, King Saul was also chosen by God. He used to be a man again, um, um, uh, um, closer to God. He used to serve God when God appointed him to be the king. His stature was that of a great man. So his followers followed a great king 
followed somebody who could stand in the battlefield, who fought many fights. So when this giant comes out of the Philistines, everybody is expecting the next greatest person in our camp is the king himself. But it can be a disgrace. Remember, if the king is the first person who is defeated, then the whole army is defeated. But I have read somewhere where it says great battles happen in the valley. When you are in the valley, great battles happen. So the scene is taking place in a valley. In a valley where you have to challenge the Philistines. Where your, 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 your fate is dependent upon the, 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 the physicality of the structure of the valley at that point in time. Don't worry about this Philistine. I'll go and fight him. Impa Don't be don't be ridiculous. Linya so leo solo ali bon sang dafita. Aroskawa nyata wena David. There is no way you can fight this Philistine and possibly win. There is no way. He is pressing him down. There is no way that I am standing here as the king and I am not doing anything. You have not been in the battlefield. You are not a trained shoulder. You are telling me to trust you. Don't be ridiculous, son. Go and play somewhere else. You are just but a boy. And this is a man who has been at war since his days of the youth. This is a man who has been trained for this. This is a man whom I, afraid as the king, the king as I am, with all the experience, I am afraid to face this man. But David persisted. I have been looking after my father's sheep and gold, he said. When a lion and a bear comes to steal the lamp of the flock, I go after it. before. Don't worry, this is nothing. I have experience as a shepherd. Look at this little one, thinking that this is a matter of sheep and goats. Look at this young man, thinking that here we are fighting over small things, over sheep and goats of your father, your father's little sheep. You are thinking that you can, you can, you can, you, you know, you can persuade us with such an experience. What a bold and young man. David was. When he's being challenged, he's, he, he, he does not shy away. He shares his bravery. It's like a child telling you that, Mommy, I have done this, and saying with the greatest passion, you, in, 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 in your child's eyes, in your child's heart, this is the greatest achievement. But to people who have achieved much greatness, they just look down on you and say, this is just another story. He is just telling us, when we have, nobody has ever heard of these stories, remember. These stories are hard to believe, but Look at this. I have fought all this. Kamata Amudimu. I have done this to both lion and bear, and I will do it again to this pagan too. I'm sorry, my phone was ringing. Para, please stop calling me. I hope all is well. Um, I should have put do not disturb. Yes, I have done this to both lions and bears. And I can do this to this pagan Philistine too. For he has defied the armies of the living God. Persuaded to do this. The only thing that persuades me, the only thing that convinces me that I can do this over and over again, it is because this man has touched the wrong crowd, has touched the wrong family, which is the Israelites, God's chosen people. I have done this and I will do it because this man has tormented, has defied the armies of the living God. My, the armies of the living God has been, has, been, has been bewitched with a spirit of fear. The spirit that God does not want his people to possess. 
the Lord who rescued me from the claws of the lion and the bear will rescue me from this uncircumcised Philistine. Then finally, Saul gives in. Better you than me, my friend. Better you than me fighting and facing this evil man. Then he says, I like this because God is being glorified. All right, go ahead. May the Lord be with you. Kalibito lele matla la murena waruna Jesu Kriste tsila tshewu muramudimo. Ore umofa all these things. Tafita I know they are too heavy for me. I will do this that which I have done to the lions and the bears out there in the field. When I was taking care of my father's sheep. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will win. Because this man has touched the wrong name. How mudimu. Ore okai mudimu wakaho. You are touching now the wrong name. Do not ever challenge me by dishonoring my God. Remember David is the one who said, Li hankata maya, momu khorokho mwa muruti wa losho, khankita ki boyi ha bushula, bole bong, khonna Jehova o nalenna. Though I walk through the darkest valley of death, I shall fear no evil. Now that rings a bell in the life of David. I have walked through this darkest valley. Now I am in the valley and I'm faced with this man who is called a champion. Who is a champion? My brother and my sister at home. Our champion is the living God. When David hears that this man has been tormenting the army of God for 40 days, he gets worried. He says, I will stand and defeat this man. I will do that which great men have failed to do. I will go. And then the king says, go well, all be with you. May the Lord be with you. That's the greatest powerful message, a send off message you can give to anyone. No one but God's chosen people uses this line to send people off. These were the people who served God. Remember if they were to lose, now they will have to serve the God of the Philistines. This is God's chosen people. This is the land which God has promised and given to them. When they get to this land, they find great giants. God did not prepare them for this. Because God chooses the unprepared. God favors the unfavored. God qualifies the unqualified. David, after has been given permission to face this great giant, you come to me with a sword, spear, and a javelin. I come to you in the name of the Lord of Heaven's army, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. He puts it plain black to you. The only reason I'm doing this to you is because you have defied the living God. I put it to you that God I put it to you that you have touched when you touch but this is the message of God. This is the story of David. Can we hear what God is saying to us today? The youth of Christ and his church. God's chosen people, the congregation of St. Churion. God's chosen people, those that call themselves fellow Christians, fellow brothers in Christ, fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. The 17-year-old bravery must be an assurance to us that even in the midst of adversities, even without training, God trains us. When God wants to give us power, God does not look at our stature. 
When God wants to give you power, God sends you to the right place to portray that power, to show his greatness. When God wants to give you power, God sends you to the right people where his power, his name will be glorified. Remember Libito Lamudimu who was about to be tarnished. Mudimu Yajwa who has been through so much with the Israelites just to leave and to forsake them. But I tell I said, when Christ came, he said, I come so you may have life and life in abundance. Here is a small boy who is rescuing the Fatsi Laba Israel. This great man, you have been chosen a queen for such a time. David, you have been chosen by your father to be in the battlefield for such a time. Esther, you have been chosen to be a queen for such a time. You have been chosen for such a time to defend the name of God. God has chosen you and God wants to give you power. When God wants to give you power, he does not look at your stature. All you have to do, you must say, in the name of the living God, in the name, in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, all is possible. This opponent, as a great opponent, David Yena will abona a a bigger structure, a greatest opponent not to miss with a stone. Kihale a shapadi no nyane konaheng. Kihale a fosadi no nyane kamakamatapa. Zwanung, he is saying, but this one is too big. So there is no way. Even if I don't hit on the head, somewhere I'm going to hit. This head is too big. I have hit on small heads of beds. Lirona, paratuele metzwale. We must stop looking at things as our fears and our challenges with the naked eyes. When these soldiers approached this Goliath. By the way, they approached the experience. In Pamudimu, Yena, Haaroma Dafita, David does not just only rely on his experience just as a shepherd, but he also relies on the power of the living God. Liruna, Rileba Chaba Mudimu, when we are faced with adversities, Ritwanez Ritwane, in that situation, Kamata, Amudimu Yapira. When the fats for David was blessed. David was blessed by the living God. May we go out there and possess us the power of the living God. Not the power of our experience. Not the power of our, of, of our stature. Not our class. Not to say that we have been chosen. Not to say we have been doing this. When God chooses you to go share the message of God, do not rely in the power ya ya experience ya kaho as a trained theologian. Do not rely in the power ya of your experience as a trained ministry chairperson. Imba rely on the power of the living God. On this Trinity Sunday, Peter Halo ya burarboti rune. Mudi munta te mudi mura mudi moyo halang. Seba huri ntozo se udi shebe kan kam 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 aso asmoya. Look at things with a spiritual eyes. For David only managed to conquer and to win against Goliath. For he did, he did not rely on his naked eyes. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but He has given us the spirit of a sound mind. Sound mind says, now you must be, you must be sober when you face your opponent. You must be clear of the target. You must be clear that God is with you. If you know that God is with you, 
all is possible. Go na fela mulaetsa o ke batang go gopotsa puthego ya modimo e ratagang. Gore jwalo ka Davida le rona re tla tlhola. Just as David gave his life just as David was obedient. God will take that, that domestic worker experience that you have, that the world does not know about, that the world does not see. When God sends you to the battlefield, he will use that experience to your advantage. That, that, that job that does not seem to be bearing fruit for you, that job of a teacher tomorrow where you have to face your learners and you have to face coronavirus, go in the name of the living God. Look at the enemy at hand. in positions that we never thought we would ever be. Le David was put in a position that he never... All he had to do was to take bread to his brothers and come back and mend his father's sheep. You know, when, when they say you, 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 you are at the wrong place, at the wrong time. David, he turned the situation to be at the right place at the right time and being the right person that God wanted to use at the time. So be reminded whenever you face adversities, whenever you are in a, in a, in a job market and they are turning you down, that is because your experience and the, live, the name of the living God will not be glorified when you have to take that position. Be reminded that whatever it is that you have been wanting so much, that marriage, that child that has not arrived, know that God has not sent you to the right place for his name to be glorified. That whatever you will achieve, you will achieve in your name and you will be defeated. May the Almighty God bless you, congregation of St. Chiron. May you go to the battlefield. May you put on the armor of God. Just like as Goliath wanted to put the armor. Yalefate. Empada fita yena. A put on the armor of God. Clothe yourself. Clothe yourself with love. Clothe yourself with, with greatness. Libizo la mudimu. In everything that you do, may the glory of God. Do it to the glory of God. Not to your own glory. Defend in every sphere of life where you find yourself make an effort be deliberate about defending be deliberate about your actions do not shy away it is at that point in time be concerned just as, as David was concerned to say we said this person said what said where is your God and indeed, you did not show him where is your God. Let me show this man where is my God. Then David said, Today the Lord will conquer you, and I will kill you. Cut off your head, and then, and then I will give your bodies to the and, and the bodies, the dead bodies of your men to the birds and the wild animals. The whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. That there is a living God. Then the whole world will know that there is a living God in you in Israel. And everyone assembled here will know that the Lord rescued his people, but not with a sword or a spear. This is the Lord's battle, and he will give you to us. Murekuludi wa kaho wa tsela akasike ke aho latla akasike ka go tlogela modimo le tsego fatse modimo le ne matla modimo a le ne botshepegi go le tsotletse o le didira modimo a le ne se gopotso mehla le matsatsi ha le le bala ka bogolo jwa gage le gopole a young boy a 17 year old david yo ileng a re ha le bane le 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 this goliath are though i walk through the darkest valley of death i shall fear no evil for your rod strengthens me go bane tsamaya 
gago le thobane ya gago tsona di yang khomotsa go le bana ba 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 me ke ta ruri mole mole bi tshwarelo di tlantshala morago matsatsi wa tlhabotselo jwa me ke ta nna montlong ya ga Jehova ka bo sa khotleng a Christ Jesus a letse go hatse putego ya modimo e rategang in the name of the Lord the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit God bless you amen Are rapele mo rena le modimo wa rona Kriste go nyana ntla le go dimo ja ofa wena le sabisa matlhonolo ra itse rona go le go dimo re ya go leboga ha o tlisitse se gakolo dimo matshelong a rona the greatest reminder that you are the living god you are the god who sends us you are the god who chose us you are the god who gives us power that by trusting you and relying in your strength we shall overcome lord god thank you thank you for this assurance e o hale fatsi lona le re gopotsa maima le mathata a rona hale fatsi le re gopotsa modima matla o tla re just but boy but boy is in the battlefield wena modimo wa re phagamisa gore le fatsi le itse gore ba khetsuleng kwena thank you jehovah for always being there for us holy spirit for interceding for us for showing us that we have won so many battles in the name of the living god and we shall continue to do so that in every situation that we find ourselves in lord god we must be persuaded we must be jealous of your name lord god we must never allow your name to be tarnished we must never allow the enemy to defy your name when people touch God's chosen people they touch a powerful God who will not leave them but will punish them Lord God thank you for punishing the Philistines for showing them that you are great for today now we live with that assurance that you have done this to your people many years ago that you will continue to do this in our lives that there is no battle there is no goliath too great there is no giant there is no problem too great for us that we will not win in the name of the living god lord god in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ we say god send us and give us power to win battles that will glorify your name Lord God as we are about to write examinations be with us Lord God for those are the battles that have been put before us those are the goliaths that, that 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 torment us in the name of the living Christ Lord God strengthen us as the youth strengthen us as the students as we embark on this examination may we reach and approach this examination with a spirit of love with a spirit of a sound mind but not a spirit of fear for lord god you said in your word you will never leave nor forsake us lord god you gave us life and life in abundance we must celebrate this life we shall conquer this examination we shall come out victorious bless us and bless your church bless our church leaders as they make decisions that might be a goliath in their lives as they approach this corona virus as the goliath of their lives lord god give our church leaders spiritual eyes for them to see that you have won the battle of corona virus already that us is to see your greatness that as we make this decision we must make the decisions of opening our churches in the name of the living god that we must be persuaded to do that which is pleasing to god but not that which is pleasing to us protect your land protect your people protect us every day oh lord god we ask in the mighty name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen